This is the example on slide 28 of our chapter 19 PowerPoint. Um, and in this problem, we're going to look at each of these reactions and decide what our change in not enthalpy is, but entropy. Entropy is signified by an S. Um, and basically, it's the amount of disorder something has. It's freedom of movement. So to predict the sign of um, our change in entropy, delta S, um, here are some general rules. Basically, typically, um, entropy increases, aka our delta S would be positive um, for each of the following situations. And if you want to look at your PowerPoint, this is on slide 27. Um, if we have a phase transition from a solid to a liquid, if we have a transition from a solid to a gas, or a phase transition from a liquid to a gas. And basically in all three of these cases, we have a more limited amount of disorder or freedom of movement going to more disorder or more freedom of movement. So therefore our delta S is positive. Other um, instances in which our delta S would be positive is if we have an increase in the number of moles of a gas during a chemical reaction. So if you start off with one mole in the reactants and go to two moles in the products, that would signify an increase in entropy. And then the last um, case for an increase in entropy is if um, a solid is dissolving in solution. So if we look at our three um, reactions here, we are going to be trying to predict the sign of delta S for each process. So for A, if we look at the phases, we're going from a gas to a liquid. So in this case, we're not increasing our entropy, we're actually decreasing it. So for A, we are decreasing entropy. And therefore, that would mean we have a negative delta S because we're not increasing, we're decreasing. So for B, it's a solid CO2 sublimes. Sublimation um, is when our phase is changing from a solid to a gas. So according to the instances that we just learned and talked about, a phase change from solid to gas would lead to an increase in disorder. Um, therefore, the sign of our delta S would be positive. So in this case, we have an increasing entropy, and our delta S would be positive. And that brings us to our last one. If we look at all the phases, they're all in the gas phase but we can count up and compare the number of moles of reactants versus products. So on our reactant side, we have two moles, and on our product side, I'll write that, two moles, our product side, we have two and then three moles. So if we're increasing our number of moles between going from reactant to product, that means that our entropy is increasing. So we have an increasing entropy, which would give us a positive delta S. And that's how you determine whether entropy is increasing or decreasing for a already written reaction.